Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a wonderful day. I pray that you're enjoying it. T- today is beautiful outside, and God is, is good to us, and good things are happening, and I'm excited about the move and the word of the Lord. Now, my friends, you know why I'm here today. I want to invite you to meet me tonight here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ because we're going to study the word of the Lord because the Bible is right. And if there's ever been a day where you need to know what God is saying, the Lord's perspective, and know that the Lord is with you, that God is with us, and that the Lord loves us, the, this, these days, days like these are certainly the time. Now, I'm excited. I'll be honest with you. I'm excited. We're in our, what we call our district meeting season, and we've been traveling, uh, uh, doing some Zoom conferences, some in person conferences, and the Lord is blessing in the district meetings. I'm hearing from many of you, and God is blessing here at the church. The saints are being blessed, and I'm so excited about all of the marvelous things that the Lord is doing. I want to say this to you before I I close today. I want to say this to you. Stay on the Bible side of things. Stay on the God side of things. Society today is changing and it's changing right before our eyes. But I will say this, that the changes that are taking place, these changes have been predicted by this grand old book. Now you just got to make sure uh, you're praying and staying before the Lord and, and in a good church and a good ministry where these changes that are taking place, these things that are going on can be pointed out to you. And uh, we, we do not trust anybody but the God of the Bible. You know, I hear people now telling us, trust the science and trust this and trust that. Well, the God of science is Escalipos. Escalipos, a false god with a serpent. And uh, we're not anti-science. We're not anti-anything. But we are pro God. And today, so many people are beginning to look uh, to science, look to the world for their deliverance. But Jeremiah said in chapter 17, he said, curse be the man that trusteth in man and make flesh his arm whose heart hath departed from the Lord. But blessed is the man whose hope the Lord is. See, the man who trusts in man, the prophet Jeremiah said, he will be like a a heath, a shrub bush in the desert uh, that will not see when the good comes, but he will be in a salt land, not inhabited. Oh, that's a terrible combination for a bush. Uh, no, no moisture, salt in the soil, out in the desert, a shrub bush. Oh, that's death. But you're talking about an advantaged position. The Bible says that same chapter, uh, chapter uh, 17, but blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is, for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters that spread out her roots by the rivers and said it shall not see when the heat comes, but that her leaf shall be green and she shall never cease from yielding her fruit and won't be careful in the year of drought. I'm telling you, it's an amazing thing to keep your trust in the Lord in the days of COVID, in the time of, of flu, in any season, whatever is going on. I want to encourage you to keep your hands in the hands of the God of the Bible. And you know what he will do? He'll do what he's always done. He'll see us through. He's on our side. So I want to talk to you tonight. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about keeping order in this, in the church and, and in the saints uh, amongst the body of Christ, you know, because the world is highly organized. 
They're highly organized. And I was at a Victorious Praise Church of God in Christ just on this past Tuesday night ministering. And I said to them, uh, to the saints there and to many of you who saw us online, that the very same attacks that we're seeing and the silencing that we're seeing the left, the far left do to people who disagree with them, we can no longer have discussion anymore. There can't be a differing of opinion. If you differ with their with their positions, they try to get you canceled, get you taken off Facebook, off YouTube. They go to stores and vendors and say, don't sell your product. They do all kinds of things to try to stop you. Well, you are, you are witnessing the attack that will soon be placed on the church. And I'm saying to the believer, keep your hand in the hand of the Lord and stay wise. And, and the God of the Bible will see us through and will keep us until he comes back to get us. I'm praying the prayer that the apostle John prayed. John said, even so come Lord Jesus. So my friends, meet me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ uh, for Bible study. <laughs> you guessed it, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. God bless you, my friends.